Happy Saturday. So I know that this is not my usual backdrop really behind me, but I'm at work today, so you're gonna have to deal with it. Sorry about that, but I'm here. It's Saturday today, it's my Friday. My weekends are Sundays and Mondays, at least right now anyway. So, but I'm getting really excited about tomorrow, so I wanted to jump on here and catch you guys up for a minute. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to a beach down in San Diego County, it's almost two hours away from Huntington Beach and it's gonna be so worth it. It's an absolutely beautiful beach I've been to a few times and it's just massive and super gorgeous. Um, I will say that it takes a lot of hiking to get down to the beach and you better have enough energy to go all the way back up after you've soaked up in the sun all day because it's a hike, but it's so worth it, so beautiful. So the beach that we are going to um, is called Black's Beach. Now, if you live in California or are from California, odds are you know about Black's Beach. The one catch with Black's Beach, some think of it as a catch, some don't, is it's a nude beach. A nude beach. So I have been a couple times before, like I said, I will not be getting nude at the beach because that's just not what I do, but it's a really incredible beach and we'll see some nude people that look pretty good. So it'll be fun. So look for that tomorrow, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun and absolutely beautiful. How's it going, guys? Oh my gosh, it's my weekend. All right, so it is my weekly beach day. I am on my way to pick up a friend and then we are heading to the beach. So today is really special because we are leaving Orange County. We're venturing out. Uh, we are gonna go down to San Diego and go to a really incredible, massive beach down there. It's really quite famous. I think I talked about it to you guys already. It's Black's Beach and it's really incredible absolutely beautiful, breathtaking, and we're gonna have an awesome day. So stay tuned and wait until you see Black Beach. So we are trekking down the trail right now. It's pretty intense, but so cool, so gorgeous. Ooh, you okay? This yeah, is like, yeah, this is round. Really yeah, it's like a round log. Yeah, I've got about a 30 foot backpack behind me. That's a board. That was the 50 foot of the board. Huh? I'm not stepping on that. Okay guys, so I have no idea what I look like right now. Probably not the best because I've been at the beach all day. But I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys that much footage today, my beach day. But as you know, I'm at a nude beach and everybody is naked. So I don't think YouTube would like that if I posted footage like that. But. Uh, I am going to be heading back to the beach again tomorrow, and I will have more cool stuff to show you guys that's a little bit more PG, I guess I could say, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm so glad that I took today to just enjoy my day and rest and kind of just have my day off. Um, it's really, really awesome. It's really great to just kick back. It's not actually as easy as you'd think it'd be, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, one thing that I just out of nowhere got inspired to do that I decided to do um, kind of on a whim was I wanted to paint. I wanted to paint. I haven't painted in a long time, but I can paint. And, um, you know, I used to sell paintings that I would paint, you know, on Etsy and things like that years ago. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm in the mood to paint today. So I want to channel my grandfather, who, by the way, he's passed on, but he was the most incredible artist, and I definitely got it from him. Um, so I want to channel him and let him guide me through this painting. I don't really know exactly what I'm painting yet, but I'm just gonna paint something. Um, we'll find out what it's like. I'll show you guys along the way what that looks like. It's probably gonna be over the course of a few days, but it should be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. So this is the canvas that I'm using. Um, I went to the craft store and basically they, I, w I went up to someone I was looking for the canvases and that was the only size I saw, which is massive. And so I went up to someone and the, I said the word canvas and they immediately said, yeah, that's all we have. So I guess everyone who's been in quarantine, probably like me too, have really just been dying to do something and have bought out all the canvases. So canvas shortage, artist problems, right? Um, so this is the size that I had to get, which is making it a little challenging, which I'm really excited about. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to line off my border with some painter's tape. Let me tell you, the most satisfying thing about finishing a painting is ripping off that tape at the end, but that's another story. We'll see that later. Anyway, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I want a really nice border. Um, you, Some artists like to actually paint the outside of the canvas, but uh, for whatever reason, I just don't like doing that. I just don't. So I'm going to do a border so it looks really nice and sharp, and we will catch up after that. Like everyone else, you got issues. Some you know, and some you okay, don't. Okay, so now that my border is all taped up, all along, all four sides, you're going to need a few things. Paint, and plenty of colors. Some painting tools, these belong to my grandfather, channeling my grandfather. Okay guys, so the next thing that I did, excuse my shadow, that looks so awful, the lighting sucks, I'm so sorry. Anyways, so the next thing that I did was I went ahead and did my soft sketch, my kind of like the foundation, the bones to like what I'm thinking about doing. Um, so if you can't tell, I'm thinking about doing a mountain range. Um, you know, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom. Obviously, the sky's going to be up top, and maybe we'll throw in some ocean views. Only time shall tell. Okay, guys, so the next thing that I did was I'm going to be painting the sky first. That's going to be the first piece to this painting puzzle, okay? So what I did again here is I actually put more painter's tape just right under or right where, you know, my soft sketch was, so I can do all my sky without worrying about losing, you know, the image in my head, you know what I mean? And I know exactly the way I want it to go and all that. So that's what I do. You don't have to do the same thing, um, but it just makes me more confident with my strokes and with my paintings. Don't blame me for being suspicious, but I see you need something. All right, guys, so, all this turned into this. And basically, this is just my sky, like I mentioned before. So I did a little bit, you know, darker, going into lighter. And then we do have the early morning sunrise going on or sunset, however you want to interpret it, really. And But it's looking pretty good. It's still really wet. Um, it's really all about blending, guys. You just got to blend, blend, blend until you get the colors that you want. I mean, when you, d like, create a painting and you mix colors together, like that color will never be made again. It just won't, not exactly that way. So you kind of have to just keep blending and keep going until you get where you want to get to. Um, because if you lose your color, you'll never be able to get it back. 
Um, but as you can see, I did a bunch of blending. I was using some of my grandfather's tools. Um, super duper helpful. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty good so far, so stay tuned. What you want. I wish you could see yourself just like I do. So it's coming along pretty good. I got my blending down pretty well because, you know, it's going to be lighter in the base because that's where I'm going to have my rolling fog and everything like that. So it's going to look pretty cool. I like the way it's coming out so far. Um, but now we're going to start adding detail. You know, we want this to be, you know, really nice, really vibrant, really real. Okay. So I'm using my really small brush, if you can kind of see it. Um, I'm using like a little bit of like a a lighter kind of almost like a like a bland brown kind of because we do have you know some dead <laughs> bushes here in Southern California where it's hot and dry so I'm starting to do my little bit of detail it doesn't look super detailed just yet but this is how it starts guys this is how the detail starts little by little and before you know it it's gonna look real AF um, so this is where I'm at right now and I will check back in with you guys soon when the detail is more detailed. And I'm not denying it, no. I'm here to lose our control. Got emotions, yeah, yeah. emotions, they all want to go dance. Sweating yeah, yeah. and motion, and I'm not denying it, no. How's it going, guys? Okay, first off, I am so sorry that I did not put a vlog up for you guys last week. It was just... Wow, it was a busy, busy week. I, lately, I have just got so much going on. So many balls in the air. It's just ridiculous. But it's all really good stuff. It's all stuff for my future and for my career and for me and I couldn't be happier about it. Um, but so, I actually just happened to be off today because um, the workload was a little bit much this week, so they uh, asked if I was willing to, uh, or asked them if I wanted to take a day off, so I said yes, <laughs> um, because it's just been so busy. Um, so I actually had to get blood work done, which I got done um, for nothing bad, nothing bad at all, just normal routine blood work, but I had to get it done. Um, and then uh, now I am just, oh, we, I hear a siren, hold on. I never know what direction they're, okay, there they go, okay. Okay, well, say a little prayer for them. I hope that they're gonna go help someone. 
Um, and I will be able to help someone. Um, oh, there goes another one. Um, anyways, so I am on my way now to just go down to the beach for a few minutes and just check it out. It looks like it's a little gloomy over the water right now. The water is like a mile that way, but it's sunny here and it's like gloomy there. It's a California thing. Um, I know, it's ridiculous. It's weird, but that's just the weather, so that's the way it is today. Um, hopefully it will burn off later, but... So I want to go down there, just check it out, breathe some ocean air. I, you know, haven't been to the beach in a bit just because of work and the vlog and I've been painting. Um, so I've been really into that. Um, and it's just starting to look a little bit nicer out now. So I'm going to truck down to the beach and I'll catch you up down there. <laughs> So I've got to tell you guys, it's a beautiful day out. It turned out to be absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's just so awesome. There's so many people out today and everyone is just all smiles. I mean, I don't think I've seen this many people smile in public in a really long time. And I'm being so serious right now. It was like something out of a magazine, something out of a picture book. It was just beautiful to be down there today and just see and feel everyone's great energy and I just feel so lucky and so blessed. So I hope that encourages you guys to get out of your house, go explore, go try to absorb some of that positive energy because it's out there. It's out there. Yeah.